going to go away. People are not going to quietly bow out and go home. They want real change. They are fed up. And little piecemeal approaches are not going to work. So I really encourage folks to look at what Senator Booker and what Senator Harris did today because it's these kinds of steps that we need to be taking. And you know what, Chris? That ally conversation that you and I started having last night on air is one that it is now time for white legislators on both sides of the aisle to have. It shouldn't just be black people calling on um, their, their legislators for broad sweeping changes. It shouldn't just be the black legislators right. introducing right. radical legislation. And it shouldn't just be black people calling for the arrest of these three other officers who have yet to meet Derek in jail, right? It should be all of us calling out and screaming at the top of our lungs what is right to do because it's time. Right, and that was my point about I'm not doing you a favor. Uh, you know, I'm not yeah. some ally out of convenience. Although I did like that some people um, portrayed it as me saying, I don't want to help you with your civil rights. <laughs> I don't want. Nobody I, said that? Yeah, there you go. I'm only laughing because of the absurdity of it. And that's that's it's fine. Ridiculous. People got the resonance of the message. I have three things. One, uh, yeah. you're absolutely right uh, about the need for uh, formative and restorative legislation. That's what came out of the 60s. If you don't change the rules of the game, yes. the game doesn't change. Uh, so, and now you're going to have that opportunity because we're going to be coming out of this pandemic. What?